Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Steve with a sword and shield. I also decided to give him a helmet because, for whatever reason, he did not look right without one with the sword and shield. Maybe that's just me. You can always take it off if you so choose. Since Minecraft 1.9 dropped very, very recently, I think it's about time that we gave Steve the old sword and board. Also, if you have any more building related needs, I would highly recommend checking out the card system because in there I'm going to leave a whole host of videos and playlists that I think that you guys might might really want to check out stuff that's very very related to this but moving on if you want to make Steve here's what you're going to need we'll need loads of stuff but start off by grabbing brown stained clay some white stained clay grab cyan stained clay flip over grab yourself some dark blue wool some cyan wool grab yourself some white wool we're also going to be needing some block of diamond and also grab, whilst you're at it, some spruce wood planks. And we're going to stop there, but we will need some more stuff later on. So, once you have each one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out what you want to make him, I'll be making him right here. You're going to want to kick off Steve with a row of eight cyan stained clay in a row on the floor. That's eight cyan stained clay. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then, once you have your row of 8 cyan stained clay, on top of it stack an additional row of 8 cyan. So, just throw a row directly on top of that. We then want to do 10 solid rows of dark blue wool. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we've got to do that to every single one of those blocks, haven't we? We just counted out the rows there. We have to add the other 7. So, just going to go up and down, throw in on all of these rows, and then we can progress to the next bit. So, you want to have something which should look a little bit like this. Perfect. Those are Steve's legs. Once you have your 10 rows of dark blue, you then, for the next row, starting from the right-hand side, do this. Do a single cyan wool on the right-hand side, fill the rest of the row in with dark blue. Just like that. Easy as that. For the row after that, starting from the right-hand side, once again, do two cyan, starting from the right, and then fill the rest of the row in with dark blue wool. Then, do eight solid rows of cyan wool. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we just have to fill those in very much how we just have to fill the legs in. So it'll take a little while here, but hey, what are you going to do? It, it does. It takes time. It takes time and effort. So you just want to have something which should look exactly like that. Now, what you then want to do for the next row, going from left to right, do uh, three cyan. That's one, two, three. Then two white stained clay, then three cyan. For the next row, do two cyan, then four white stained clay, two cyan. To give you this. That is pretty much the entire front of Steve, except now we have to give him an arm. So, coming out from the right hand side of the row that we just made, continue to go right, do a row of four cyan. That's one, two, three, four. Then, underneath this row of four, do three additional rows of four. That'll be one, and two, and three. Then, underneath that, do eight solid rows of white stained clay. That'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've just got to fill the rest of those rows in, haven't we? So, we'll just have to fill the rest of those rows in to give us this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Steve is missing an arm, and he is missing an arm, but we're only going to be doing a little bit of the arm because of how this statue is positioned. So once you've got that one arm taken care of, come all the way up to the top left-hand side, and going left of this top left-hand corner cyan wall, go left by four with the cyan, that's one, two, three, four. Then do three rows of cyan underneath it, that's one, two, three and three and just leave it at that we just want to leave it at that guys we don't want to do any more i know it kind of looks like he's missing an arm but that's okay he'll be given one later once you have that taken care of come all the way around to the back of the statue and come all the way down to the bottoms of the feet take out your cyan stained clay and extend each one of the bottom two corners of the statue out of the back of the statue each by three blocks that's one two three and this is with the cyan stained clay and that's one two three connect each one of those third blocks together then, stacking up on top of this row of eight back cyan stained clay, stack two rows of cyan stained clay, so that'll be one, and that will be two. 
Then, on top of that, do nine solid rows of dark blue. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we've just got to add all of these in. I know, I know it takes a little while. What can you do? Steve isn't that detailed, really. He... He requires a lot of filling in, what can I say? So, once you have your nine solid rows of dark blue wool, we then, for the next row, going from left to right, want to do five dark blue, that's one, two, three, four, five. One cyan wool, two dark blue. For the next row, do four dark blue, one, two, three, four. Three cyan wool, one dark blue. Then, for the rest of the back, and I don't know how many rows this is, I can probably work it out, it's probably about 10 rows. For the next 10 rows, you want to do 10 solid rows of cyan wool, but you don't have to count it out. Just do rows of cyan until you eventually reach like in line with the top of the front of the statue. So just kind of like measure it up, mark it up to the front of the statue and connect everything together to give you something which should look like that. Now once you have that taken care of, we have a couple of things to do on the back. So start Starting with the first thing that we have to do, the arm. So this left hand arm, the one that hangs by your side, we want to copy that onto the back. So we take this top left hand corner block here, we extend it left by four with the sign, that's one, two, three, four. We then add three rows underneath it, that's one, two, and three. And then we do add eight rows of white stained clay, which we don't have to count out because we can use the front of the statue to measure it all out. We don't have to look at it, but it's identical to the front side. Now, on the other arm, we do also want to copy that. So, where we have our four rows of cyan, that's one, two, three, four, and then we have the three rows underneath it, we also want to copy that onto the back. So, we just want to have something which, and again, he looks he looks a little armless, but he's not going to be armless in a second, trust me, he's going to be very harmful. You're going to want to have something which should look like that. That's pretty much the entire back of the statue completed. Now, once you have that taken care of, we now want to move on to the side. So, Come onto this side of Steve first. The way that we want to fill him in is this. So, you can see right at the bottom here, we want to add a layer of cyan stained clay. First of all, we just want to add one row of cyan stained clay. Then, for the next row, going from left to right, do one clay, one dark blue wool. That's it for Steve's feet. All we have to do now to fill in the rest of Steve is you can see where we have dark blue on the left and right hand side of the statue. And I am jumping the gun, gun a bit. You have dark blue on the left and right hand side of the statue. Fill that in coming all the way up to the side of Steve. Can you guys see what I'm talking about? You match the color of the dark blue on the left, right hand side, throw it in the middle. Do the same with cyan. And I know it's slightly trickier here with the cyan because we do have to maneuver around the arm, but you also do want to fill the bottom of the arm in, plus you also want to fill in the side of the arm here, and you also want to fill in the top of the arm by one, two, three, and one, two, three, coming up on top of that arm. So you want to have something which should look a little bit like this. And you know what, whilst we are here, whilst we are on the side of the statue, why don't we complete his arm so he looks a little less armless? So, well, on the front of the statue, we have this like 4x4 four four square of cyan. With your white stained clay, take each one of the four corners of the square and extend them, coming out in front of the statue each by eight with your white stained clay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you want to do the same with the others. Of course, we don't have to count this out all of those times because we have already counted it out once and we can just use that row to measure, oh, how, how far do we have to go? We have to go this far. So we don't have to count it out all of those times. So you can see we're essentially just making the rest of Steve's arm. This is going to be holding a sword and we might even add that in just a moment. So just completely fill that arm in with white stained clay, as you guys can see I'm doing right now. Fill that in with white stained clay, and you know what? We will add the sword next. Why? No, no, we won't add the sword. You know what? The reason that we won't add the sword next is because we don't have all of the materials that we need, and we'll have to get rid of some, and we already have everything we need for, like, a certain part. We'll, we'll move on to it later. We'll give him the sword and shield at the same time. But there is his arm. Very, very easy. Rose of A out in front of that little stump that he had. Once you've got that taken care of, come all the way over to the opposite side of Steve. Uh, first of all, we want to take care of the feet. So that's one row of cyan stained clay. Then going from left to right for that next row, we want to do one dark blue, followed by one cyan stained clay. Easy enough. Then, fill in the rest of the leg area with dark blue wool. We have to come up all the way up as far as... 
Oh, we don't have to we don't have to come up as far. We just have to come underneath the hands, guys. I forgot. Of course, that other side it doesn't have the arm, so we have to come up further. But on this side, just come up below the arm. Then fill in the arm exactly how you'd expect to fill it in. So the bottom of the hand, we have to fill it in with white stained clay. Coming all the way up to the sleeve, which is where the cyan wool starts. We fill that in with cyan wool. We then fill the top in, coming in by three, one, two, three, and one, two, three with the cyan wool as well. And it'll give us something which should look like that. Of course it's a lot bit different, isn't it, guys? Of course it is. I, I don't know why I expected it any differently. But you know what? Whilst we are here, we can actually give Steve his shield because we do have all the materials that we need. So once you've got that arm taken care, care of, come all the way to the front of the arm that you've just taken care of. And starting from the bottom, find the fourth row coming up from the arm. So this will be the first row, second, third. You found the fourth row. Do a row of cyan stained clay that goes all the way around the arm. So it's like you're putting a wristband on him. You want to put a cyan stained clay wristband on Steve. Then do another layer on top of that. So you want to have two rows of cyan stained clay coming up on top of his arm like this. What we then want to do is on the outer part of the wristband that you've gave him, why don't we call it a wristband just for easiness sake, on this do a layer of spruce wood planks. So do a layer of spruce wood planks on the outer part of the wristband. Then in a front of these, the planks that you've made, so coming out in front of the statue, you want to do two rows of seven coming out in front of each one of those planks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm pretty sure that that's right, so we can just use that other row to measure it. Then do cyan stained clay on the ends of those two rows of seven. Coming up on top of this cyan stained clay and looking from the side across the statue, on top of this cyan stained clay, we want to go up by five with the clay. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then we want to go right by 21. So where the back of the statue is going to be 21, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. We then want to go down by we want to go down by 11, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And what we can then do is we can drag this 11th block all the way across the front of the statue again. And we just want to connect it to kind of like where we first started. So you don't have to count any of this out, you just want to connect it to where you first started. So you drag it all the way over, you can see where it lines up with that sign that we had on the front of the statue, connect it down, perfect. Uh, next order of business, fill the entire shield in with spruce wood planks. This will take a little while because this is a big giant rectangular shape, but just, just fill it in with spruce wood planks. Then we have a little bit more to add to the shield to make it a little bit more interesting. I noticed that on the shield, uh, there's like these these big metal bits on it, like on the outer part of the shield, there's big metal bits. So, we're going to add those on, but we're not building them into the shield because I, I wanted to make the shield look a little bit more interesting. I wanted to make it look a little bit more 3D. I wanted I wanted to make it look more interesting, like I said, there's, there's nothing more to say about that. So, we're going to be adding them on the outer part of the shield and it's just going to make it look a little bit more 3D, a little bit more animated and a little bit better to tell you guys the truth. Or maybe it won't look better and you can just leave it how it is now and that's a pretty reasonable looking shield anyway. But once you've filled in in that square part, this is what you want to do, or the rectangular part. Starting from, you're on the outside of the shield, the upper left hand corner of the shield, where we have the spruce wood, starting from the spruce wood. You want to come down by one, so you're on the second spruce wood here. You then want to go right by two, that's one, two, and then place a cyan stain clay. Can you guys see the position? So, starting from the upper left hand corner of the spruce wood, down one, right two, place the cyan stained clay. We then want to go right of this and we want to leave a gap of four. So that's one, two, three, four. Gap of four is placed. Place the cyan. Gap of four. One, two, three, four. Cyan. Then gap of four. One, two, three, four. Place the cyan. It wants to look a little something like this. That's perfect. Once you've done that once, you actually want to do the same thing again on the lower half of the shield. So we're on the lower half of the shield, bottom left hand corner this time, where we have the spruce wood. We want to come in by two, to the right, so we're on the third block. Come up by one, place a cyan. Then it'll be like, gap of four, place a cyan. Gap of four, place a cyan. Gap of four, place a cyan. So you want to have something which should look like that. And that's pretty good, but I did also add a little something else. I added some dark oak wood planks, and I kind of went around each one of those cyan stained clays with the dark oak wood planks, and it ends up looking a little something like this. So um, 
I'm just going to do this and show you, and you can decide whether you want to do it yourself. Um, it's just, it just makes it a little bit more textured, it makes it look a little bit more interesting. Like I said, I think it looks a little bit better. I like it how it's kind of got some like, got, how, it, how it's got some like, um, how, how it's got a little bit of more 3D, it's, it's a bit rougher, it's a, I don't know, I like it a bit better. It's up to you, you can build that into the shield, you can not include it, you could just have the cyan stained clay, you can do whatever you want. I like that, I think it looks kind of cool, but completely up to you. That's the shield. Now, once you've got that taken care of, we're now going to build the head. So, come all the way around to the front of the statue and come all the way up to the top of the torso. On top of the top row of the torso, which is these eight blocks right here, we want to stack a row of eight white stained clay. Then, in front of this row of eight white stained clay, do two rows of... Is it two rows? Hang on, guys. Let me adjust the plan so I can actually see. I should know this off by heart. In front of this, do a row of white stained clay. So, that's just one. Then in front of that row going from left to right, you want to do two white stained clay, four brown stained clay, two white stained clay. Then for the next row, do two white stained clay, this is on top of it, one brown stained clay, two white, one brown, two white. For the next row, do three white stained clay, two brown, three white stained clay. Then for the next row going from left to right, do one white stained clay, one white, wool, uh, one dark blue, two white stained clay, one dark blue, one white wool, one white stained clay. Then for the next row going from left to right, we want to do three white stained clay, then one white wool, one cyan, and then we want to do three white stained clay. Now, the reason that we've stopped there is this. So that's all we're going to be doing for Steve's face, because what we now want to do, and I did miss this, but in between the eyes here, place two cyan wool coming out in front of the eyes, like this. So, two in between the eyes, coming out in front, do two cyan wool. Then, on top of this left-hand cyan wool, we want to place a white wool, and on top of the right one, place a cyan wool. Then, on top of each one of these two blocks, place a block of diamond. Coming out of the left-hand block of diamond, we want to do a row of four cyan coming out to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Then go up on top of that fourth block by three. One, two, three. We then want to go right by, what will the measurement be? Right by nine, I believe. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we want to go down by three. One, two, three. And then we want to go left until we connect back to where we first started. So we want to have this shape. Then if you want to, in the helmet here on the left hand side, you can just place two white wool inside that area. Then place a white wool coming out to the right of that top white wool. Fill the rest of the front of that helmet in with block of diamond. That's the front of the helmet. Now, come all the way to the left hand side of the helmet, and starting from this top cyan wall that we have right here, we want to go left of this towards the back of the statue by nine with the cyan. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We then want to go down by six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We then want to go right by four, one, two, three, four. We then want to go up by three, one, two, three, and then go right until you connect all the way back to the front. So you want to have this sort of shape. It kind of looks like a gun, doesn't it? Something like that. Once you've done that on one side, do the same on the other side. So we're on the other side and um, start from the stop block. We go right by nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We then go down by six, isn't it? One, two, two, three, four, five, and six. We then go left by four, that's one, two, three, four. We then go up by three, that's one, two, and three. We then go left until we connect to the front of the helmet to give us once again the gun shape. Now, coming towards the back of the helmet, we have to do two things. Connect the top of the helmet together, left to right like this. But for the lower half of the, the helmet, it's not so easy. So starting from the bottom left-hand corner of the back of the helmet, we want to take this bottom corner block and extend it right by one. Do a bottom right diagonal and go right of it by five. That's one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, so let's start again. That's five. That's one, two, three, four, five. We then do an upright diagonal. This connects us to the back of the helmet once again. Now we have to fill in the sides of the helmet. This is actually quite easy. So um, on the sides of the helmet, the actual sides, left and right, um, starting in the corners, the front corners, we want to do kind of like that collection of white wool. It kind of like it's kind of like a 90 degree angle of white wool and it's just like three in the corner just like that in the back of the statue for the back of the helmet in the top left hand corner we want to have that same little collection of white wool like that so three white wool in the corner same thing for the top of the helmet the top 
back left hand corner we want to have that same collection of free white wool like this. Once you've got all of that you can then proceed to just fill the rest of the helmet in with a block of diamond. This shouldn't take too much time so we're just going to fill the rest of the helmet in with a block of diamond. So why don't I just do that? And I'm, I'm going to keep talking about it because there's nothing else to talk about. Let me talk about this then. Um, after we've done this, we have to form the rest of Steve's head. Um, we're going to be building this around the helmet because I figure why build the head first and then do the helmet? It doesn't make any sense because the helmet covers up most of the head. So we got rid of the face. We got that taken care of because it made sense, and it it, it made sense because um, it like the helmet easily materializes from the face. But um, for the rest of the head, I just destroyed a white wall there. From the rest of the head, we may as well build it around the helmet. Just make sure that we cover all of the gaps and such, or at least that's what I figure. So, we've just about filled in all of the helmet for... Yep, we've completely filled in the helmet. We've added all of the block of diamond like that. Let's take care of the rest of the head. So first of all, we're going to take this very first row of eight white stained clay and we're going to extend it over the back of the statue until it overhangs the back of the statue by just one row. Like we did with the face, just one row it wants to overhang the back of the statue like this. Then for the next row, coming out of that back row, we want to go from left to right, do three white stained clay, two brown stained clay, three white stained clay like that. Now what we want to do is, starting from the left hand side here, we want to kind of like run a row of brown clay, kind of like alongside of the inside of the helmet. Can you guys see what I'm talking about? So, um, we're on this left hand side and we've kind of like got a row of brown stained clay that runs along the inside of the helmet. And then we're left with this funky little shape here, which we just want to fill in with white stained clay. That's how you fill in the left hand side of the head. Uh, the same applies for the right hand side of the head. So we're on the right hand side and you can see here we, we have this empty space. What we want to fill in going around the helmet, we just want to do brown stained clay, kind of like tracing along the inside of the cyan layer of the helmet. And then we can just fill the empty space that's left in with white stained clay. That's how you fill the helmet, and it's quite easy, isn't it? And that'll leave us with something that should look a little bit like that. That's the helmet, Steve's got his shield, he's just missing something, he's holding his arm out, he wants his hand holding, but he just doesn't know why. This is what we're going to give him, so let's give him a sword. I didn't want to go with a fancy sword, although I went with a fancy helmet because I've done it so much. Um, we're going to give him like a stone sword. So I'm going to get rid of all my t all of my materials and I'm going to grab dark oak wood planks, uh, but, 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 spruce wood planks, oak wood planks, and I'm also going to grab some cyan stained clay. I'm going to flip over, grab some dark grey wool and some light grey wool. They're all the materials that we're going to be needing to make the sword. Once you have each one of those yourself, or unless you want to give him another sword, it doesn't matter, it's all the same design really, except with different colours, you want to come to the very end of the extended arm. And on top of these two middle blocks that we have for the extended arm, with our dark grey wool, pick one, because we're only going to be focusing on one, pick one of the middle blocks, we have to do it to both of them, and extend it up by two of the dark grey wool, like that. Take the top dark grey wool, do two up left diagonals from it, coming towards the back of the statue, that's one and two. Go left by one, down by one, then do a bottom right diagonal, connect down to the bottom of the statue, bottom of the hand, like that. Then, you can see where we have this very first dark grey wall that we placed. Well, bottom right diagonally from that, so coming out in front of the hand, we want to do two dark grey wall coming out in front of the hand, followed by two bottom right diagonals with the dark grey wall. Then we want to go down by one, left one, then do a up left diagonal and up left diagonal, and connect back to the hand. That's kind of like the hilt of the sword, or the guard of the sword, I should say. It's not the hilt. Guard of the sword. Um, once you've got that taken care of, we now want to come underneath the hand. So we want to be in line with the middle row that we've been using, which is this outer one closest towards the center of Steve. And we want to count in underneath the hand, coming towards the center of Steve. We want to count in and find the fourth block. So this will be the first block, second, third, fourth block. Underneath this, place a dark oak wood plank. Do a bottom left diagonal with the dark oak wood plank. Then do a bottom left diagonal with the dark gray wall. Come down from this by one, come left by two, up by two, right by one, then do two, do an upright diagonal with your spruce wood plank. Fill the very end part of the sword in with cyan stained clay, and fill the center part of the handle in with oak wood planks to give you this. You can fill the center of the garden with cyan stained clay. We should have done that earlier to give you 
this. We then want to take out our Cyan Stain Clay again. I've just got to stop my TV, turn itself off, silly thing. Uh, you want to take this second dark grey wall that we place coming out of the top of the hand, this one right here, and with the Cyan Stain Clay, do eight upright diagonals with the Cyan. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We then want to go right by two. We then want to go down by two. And then we want to do bottom left diagonals until we connect all the way down to the very god of the sword again. So we want to come all the way down until we connect to the god of the sword. We can then just fill in this entire area here with light grey wool. The blade of the sword, we just want to fill this in with light grey wool. And then once we've done that, we'll end up with a pretty completed sword. The sword is complete at this point. There you go. It looks pretty good, actually. Once you've got that done, all we have to do now is double up on the sword, because... As you can see, it's kind of only like one block now, and if you like that, that's fine, that's completely up to you, you can do that. But, I like it when, whenever I've placed swords in like Steve's hand and stuff, uh, I always like to kind of like double up on them. I like to, um, I like to make it two blocks thick, two rows thick, instead of just the one. It, it just makes the sword look a little bit more 3D. With just the one row, it's, it's essentially a pick slot, and it looks a little flat, but... You guys can do whatever you want. If you want to leave just the one row, you can. If you want to make, if you want to take off Steve's helmet, you can. If you want to make it a gold helmet, you can. Leather helmet, chainmail, whatever you want, whatever you need, you can do. It's completely up to you, of course. Do what you want with your statue. Make make this a make this a fishing rod if you so choose. But you can see we've now doubled up on the sword. We've given him a shield. We've given him a diamond diamond helmet and nothing else. And there we go. I think he actually looks pretty cool. I think he looks like he's ready for battle. He looks minus the good diamond helmet. Of course, he looks kind of like a medieval knight if he had armor. Let's take off the UI. Let's take a look at this thing. So, this is Steve. Hopefully, you guys like this statue. I really like this statue. I think it's just enough... I think it's just enough different from regular Steve to make it quite interesting. Like, I think that's why I added the helmet. I think that's why I give it, gave him a different sword. I think that that's why I made the shield look kind of like a little bit different. I, I think that I've made this kind of interesting. I quite like this statue. I really, really do. I, I wasn't sure whether to give him even more armor or not, but I quite like it like this. I, I don't know I don't know how to describe it. I don't know why I like it like this, but I do. Um, hopefully, you guys like the statue. If you do, please give this video a like, a favorite, a share. Feel free. Let me know down below in the comments if you like it, what you like. What do you want me to make next? I'm going to be making a couple more 1.9 related statues. I'm going to give Steve wings. Is it Electra? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't really play PC that much. I'm going to be making a Flying Steve statue. Um, I'm going to make an an Archer Steve statue where he's kind of like using some of the new arrows. I'm going to give them like particle effects and stuff. It's going to look quite nice. Um, so look forward to those things. Ender Dragon is coming. Uh, I don't know whether you'll have seen it already by the time this video goes up or not. I don't know when this is getting posted, but Ender Dragon's being done. Um, like, favorite, share, comment down below. Check out the card system because I have done loads and loads of statues involving Steve. Um, if you're a big fan of Steve, if you have a whole collection of Steve statues, I know that I do across all of my worlds, you might want to check out the card system for loads and loads of those. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Remember, like, favorite, share if you wouldn't mind. Help me out. Comment down below. Check out the card system. I'll see you guys in the next video.